having? Um, I'm going to prepare some uh, little uh, canapes as a starter and I like to serve canapes in uh, small little tiny white dishes like this. Um, today I'm going to do a venison tagliata. So I've left this venison steak to marinate for uh, a day in olive oil, a tiny drop of balsamic vinegar which added a bit of uh, sweetness taste and then oregano and lemon thyme. And it's been, it's been in the fridge marinating for like a day. And then some uh, pickled relish. The way you pickle them is basically, you know, you cut the relish in uh, thin slices and then you put it in white vinegar, um, a bit of water and um, a teaspoon of sugar. And you let it marinate for like 30 minutes to an hour. And then my favorite, we're going to garnish it with some uh, confit onion and raisins. Now, if you want to know how I made this, uh, you have to go online, holyfocaccia.com and check it out. There is a recipe for confit onions and uh, with raisins. It takes, uh, it takes some time, like you have to cook them for 40 minutes, but the result is amazing. And look where I put them. A nice little jar like this. You know, you go to dinner, your friends, you can actually show up with this. You know, the usual wine will do, but if you bring some of these, I'm sure your friends will appreciate that. So the pan now is on the high heat until you see the smoke coming out. When you see the smoke coming out, it means the pan is really, really hot and it's ready to take your, uh, your venison steak. Uh, what I usually do is I reduce the heat to medium when I put the steak in. Now let's just put the steak in. Sizzles and set the timer to three minutes. One, two, three. I like my steak on the rare side. And it actually looks very nice when you do a tagliata, which means cut, and you cut your steak, you see that the, uh, the core of the steak is, is still pink. So I recommend three minutes on each side, and then uh, once uh, it's cooked, you can add salt. Don't add salt before, because if you add salt before to, uh, to any meat, it will start to absorb all the juice, and your meat will actually be chewy and, and tough. So let's give it three minutes and then uh, I'll show you what to do with it. Right, right, come in three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Good, so uh, the steak has been on three minutes on each side. So remove the meat from the pan. And important, usually when you're cooking meat, you have to let the piece of meat rest off the pan on a, on a board, on a chopping board for a few minutes. We've cooked it, usually the rule is half the time you've been cooking it. So we cook it for six minutes, leave it on a board like this for a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes should be enough. Put some salt on it. Nice. So two minutes is passed, now we have to slice it. Oh nice, look at this, beautiful juicy. See, in the two minutes that we let it rest, actually we let all the juice come out. Because when, when, when we cooked it, we basically shocked the meat and we put it from, uh, from cold to a very, very hot pan. And now, we're basically doing the reverse. We're going from hot to, um, to the cold of the board. And you have to let it rest to room temperature, a few minutes. Now we're slicing it. Look how nice it is. Perfect cooking in the middle. It's pink. All outside is nice and, and done. We're slicing it and we're basically doing a tagliata. The tagliata in Italian just means uh, cut and usually when you go to like the best place or one of the best places in Italy for meat is Tuscany, they, they give you a nice tagliata which is a big piece of steak and it's been cut and usually served with a rocket. What we're doing today, we're serving with the radish and with the onion. So take the radish, the we done before and I just um, clean them a bit, clean off the uh, white wine vinegar just to have less acidity. Plate it like this in trees and then a piece of your venison, maybe two, go with a little piece on the side like this and take the onion, you know you can just put caramelized onion if you want, put them on top 
If you want, you can top it with a bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. There you go. Some pepper. And it's done. Perfect canopies. There you go. You don't believe me it's good? Let me show you. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Guys, well done. Thank you.